In the vast expanse of scientific exploration, a new frontier is emerging, quantum biology. This intriguing field is a meeting ground of quantum mechanics, the rules governing the smallest particles in the universe and biology, the study of life in all its complexity. It is the exploration of how these two seemingly disparate disciplines intertwine that gives birth to this fascinating new area of study. Quantum biology seeks to understand the applications of quantum mechanics to biological processes. It delves into the world of atoms, electrons, photons, and how their quantum behavior influences the mechanisms of life. It's a world where particles can exist in two places at once, a phenomenon known as superposition, and where particles can be mysteriously connected, no matter how far apart they are. A concept known as entanglement. These are but two of the quantum phenomena that quantum biology seeks to understand in the context of life. Yet what does this all mean for us? Imagine for a moment that the very essence of life, the spark that gives rise to existence, operates on principles that defy our everyday understanding of the world. That our bodies, our cells, even our DNA might be influenced by these strange quantum behaviors. That fundamental biological processes like photosynthesis or bird migration might have a quantum edge. It's a wild thought, isn't it? Now let's add into this mix a rather intriguing practice, semen retention. This practice, found in various traditions, is said to have spiritual and energetic significance. From a quantum biological perspective, could this practice influence the body's energy and biofield? Could it interact with the quantum biological aspects of human attraction? These questions remain theoretical, unproven and speculative, yet they beckon us to explore further. Quantum biology remains an evolving field, a theoretical playground where quantum mechanics and life sciences intersect. It's a realm where we are just beginning to scratch the surface, where the known meets the unknown, and where science takes on a whole new dimension. As we stand on the precipice of this new frontier, we can only wonder at the possibilities that await. Now let us venture into an ancient practice revered in various traditions, semen retention. This practice is rooted in spiritual and cultural beliefs with practitioners often attributing it to enhanced energy, vitality, and personal power. In many traditions, the act of retaining semen is believed to conserve what is often referred to as life force or vital energy. This energy in turn is said to be transmuted into higher forms of spiritual energy leading and personal magnetism. But what could be the scientific rationale behind these claims? Let's venture into the realm of speculation and consider the perspective of quantum biology. Quantum biology, a relatively new field, explores the potential influence of quantum phenomena, such as entanglement and superposition, on biological processes. Here's where it gets interesting. Some speculate that the practice of semen retention might influence the body's energy and biofield. The biofield as understood in some alternative medicine paradigms is an ensemble or matrix of different energies that extend outward from each individual's body. Changes in this biofield, potentially influenced by practices like semen retention, could theoretically affect our physical and mental states. Imagine, if you will, a scenario where the act of retaining semen leads to changes in the biofield. These changes could potentially alter the quantum state of the body, influencing everything from mood to physical vitality. This is a fascinating thought, isn't it? But let's be clear, this is a speculative connection. It's a theoretical exploration, an attempt to bridge ancient wisdom with modern science. We're in uncharted waters, trying to connect dots across disciplines that rarely intersect. And while it's a captivating concept, there's currently no scientific evidence to back up these ideas. While intriguing, the link between semen retention and quantum biology remains speculative and unproven. But as we continue to explore the mysteries of human biology and quantum phenomena, who knows what fascinating connections we might uncover in the future. Attraction, a force that subtly governs human connections, might just have a quantum story to tell. As we dive deeper into the realm of quantum biology, we encounter a world where the laws of physics intertwine with the intricate processes of life. A world where particles can be in multiple places at once and where two particles can remain connected, no matter the distance. This, my friends, is the world of superposition and entanglement. Now let's imagine the practice of semen retention through the lens of quantum biology. Semen retention revered in various traditions is believed to hold energetic significance. Picture the body as a biofield of energy, changing and shifting with the practice of semen retention. Although still in the realm of speculation, it's fascinating to muse on how this shift might influence quantum biological processes. 
So how might this influence attraction, you ask? Well, imagine for a moment that our biofields interact with others in ways beyond our conscious awareness. The subtle changes in our biofield due to semen retention might, in theory, interact with the quantum aspects of attraction. It's as if our biofield is humming a particular tune, and this tune might just be more resonant, more attractive to others at a quantum level. But remember, this is a journey of exploration, not a journey of established fact. The interplay between quantum biology and attraction is a thrilling concept but remains speculative. We are treading on the edges of our understanding, where science meets philosophy and established facts give way to intriguing hypotheses. In this vast, interconnected universe, it's not entirely far-fetched to think that our might interact in ways we've yet to fully comprehend. Perhaps one day quantum biology will offer more concrete insights into these mysterious processes. But for now, we're left to ponder, to question, and to marvel at the possibilities. This intersection of quantum biology and attraction, though speculative, opens up fascinating possibilities. In this journey into the unknown, it's vital to remember the speculative nature of these theories. Quantum biology is a fascinating field, a blending of quantum mechanics and biology that seeks to uncover the quantum phenomena underlying life's processes. But it's important to remember, it's a field still in its infancy, with much of its potential yet to be realized. Theories abound, but concrete, definitive evidence is, at this point, scarce. Now let's revisit the concept of semen retention. It's a practice steeped in ancient wisdom and spiritual traditions. Believed to enhance one's energy and vitality, but could there be a connection with quantum biology? Could the energy conserved through semen retention somehow influence our biofield, our body's energy blueprint? It's a tantalizing proposition but one that as yet lacks empirical evidence. Imagine, though, the possibilities. What if the practice of semen retention did indeed alter our biofield? And what if these changes interacted with the quantum biological aspects of human attraction? Could it be that our personal energy influences not just our physical wellness, but our interpersonal connections as well? It's a compelling concept, one that might even redefine our understanding of human attraction. However, while these ideas might ignite our curiosity, we must tread lightly. It's crucial to distinguish between established scientific facts and speculative theories. Quantum biology is a pioneering field, and yes, the practice of semen retention has deep roots in various traditions, but the link between the two remains theoretical. So as we continue this exploration, let's approach it with an open mind, yet stay grounded in scientific rigor. Let's not rush to conclusions, but rather, let's encourage further research, further questioning. After all, it's through inquiry and skepticism that science advances. We must stay anchored in the understanding that these are theories, awaiting scientific validation. Our exploration of quantum biology and semen retention is indeed a journey into the unknown. This journey, much like the paths we tread in life, is filled with conjectures and theories yet to be validated by solid scientific evidence. However, the beauty of exploration lies in this very uncertainty, this not knowing that drives us to delve deeper, to question, to seek. We've traversed the terrain of quantum biology, a relatively new and evolving field of science that seeks to apply the principles of quantum mechanics to biological processes. We've observed the fascinating quantum phenomena like entanglement and superposition, and speculated on their possible roles in these processes that make life possible. We've examined the practice of semen retention, a discipline steeped in spiritual and energetic significance across various traditions. It's been intriguing to consider how, in theory, this practice might influence the body's energy and biofield from a quantum biological perspective. The interplay between these two seemingly disparate areas, quantum biology and semen retention, has led us to ponder the deep interconnectedness in human attraction. Could changes in one's biofield or energy due to semen retention interact with the quantum biological aspects of attraction? It's a tantalizing question, one that remains at this stage purely speculative, and therein lies the crux of our journey. We are stepping into the realm of the theoretical, the speculative. These ideas are not scientifically validated facts, but they invite us to consider, to question, to explore. They open up a world of possibilities, a universe of questions that we, as curious beings, are compelled to seek answers to. This journey into the unknown is not a solitary trek. It's a collective voyage of discovery, an invitation to you all to join in this exploration of the intricate, the complex, 
the profound. As we venture into the unknown, we continue to seek understanding, embracing the mystery of our existence and its possible quantum connections.